Hello and welcome to another Scratch video. Today's video is about adding comments to your code. So we have open our uh, remix file, our, our dog walk remix, and what we want to simply do is add some comments to it. Now, comments are useful uh, when you have a lot of dense code, uh, which we do not have at this moment with this particular program. However, we're going to practice on this program. Now, comments are nothing more than human readable uh, descriptions of what the code is doing. It can be as detailed as you like or as brief as you like, as long as you are conveying what that particular script is doing. So for instance, if we want to add a comment to this particular script up here, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, click add comment, and what we can do is add our comment right here. Now, we're just going to add a brief description of what this code is doing. This particular code is controlling the movement of the Avery sprite. So I'm just going to write very simply, controls movement of Avery sprite. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the hat of this first bit of code by dragging it right over to it, letting go. And if I want, I can collapse that. So it's just uh, sort of abbreviated. Or if I want to be able to see it, I can leave it as is or resize it by grabbing this little corner right here. And this is useful if you have a bunch of code that's kind of packed together. Now I want to add a comment to this next one. So add comment. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag this over. And I'm just going to add the particular description of what this is doing. So, um, so it just plays the sound when spacebar is pressed. So I'll just put plays sound be too involved. So next I'll go to the bat sprite. Got a little bit more going on here. Right click, add comment, attach it, and now I'm going to resize this. And I'm just going to very briefly write controls bat movement up. Capitalize. Controls bat movement. And then I'll write, because that's the particular direction he's going in. I'll make this fit a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is add comments for the rest of directionals. But I can easily just say duplicate, add that and then just change what it says. That way I can save a little work. Do the same with this. Right. And to the left. All right. So we'll add another one. We'll attach it to this bit of code and describe what it's doing. This seems to be changing the color of the bat. Changes the color of the bat. All right. Another one to this one. And this one is clearing the color. Nice. Clearing color. And last comment. And then I'm going to scroll down to see this. And controls the what the bat says. So uh, I'll just write bat, uh, bat birds. All right. And that is a very simple explanation of what comments do. Um, as I mentioned before, this can come in very handy when you have a lot of code that's very dense and a lot of code that does different things and you're maybe forget what a specific bit of code does. If you make a nice note, when you come back to it, you'll be able to identify it quickly. Or if someone else is working on your particular code, they'll have a, a brief description of what the code does. 
And so they won't have to read line by line and, and figure everything out. All right, hope that helps. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put comments on all of our remixes from here on out. All right.